think people are rude nowadays. Like, uh, when I get off the plane, right, I'm always the last ones off the plane because I book all my tickets through Expedia, which if you don't know, that's Latin for crappy seat. <laughs> it's true, I, th I sit with a stewardess on the drink cart. <laughs> so when I get off, my luggage is going around the carousel, right? And people are shoulder to shoulder and you can't get through them. So he here's what I want to do. I want to get luggage shaped exactly like a coffin. I think mean, that'd be awesome to see that come over the conveyor belt and <laughs> And then you charge it like it's a long lost relative. Just ah! <laughs> he wouldn't fit in the overhead. <laughs> Got very depressed last year though and actually bought my coffin. That's a little weird, I know. But I got it at Ikea Furniture, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> right, because I want people at my funeral to have something to do and they're gonna have to put it together. <laughs> Nobody told me how to bring an Allen wrench to this funeral. <laughs> so I, uh, I, I can talk myself out of working out so easily. I don't know about you guys, but I can. I lost, I lost over 200 pounds. Thank you, yeah, I know. It's actually 20 pounds, but I've lost it 10 times now. I don't know. <laughs> Anybody else? It's fun now because I go to the department store. I will buy anything in my size. I don't care. I'm like, ooh, it fits. I'll take it. The guy's like, sir, you're in junior miss. <laughs> I don't care. It's a six. <laughs> but here's a little hint. Don't throw out your fat pants. Don't do it. Don't do it because there's no worse feeling than having to go down to the thrift store that you gave your pants to. <laughs> and buy back your own fat pants <laughs> and walk up to the front of the line and give the guy your pants and go, yeah, turns out I really like butter. <laughs> so I'm trying to run to keep it off and uh, you know, I can talk myself out of working out so easily, that's a very easy argument to win. And the other day I was about to go out the door jogging, I was jogging every day and I saw a news story and it said, uh, a uh, man was attacked while jogging by a mountain lion in Santa Monica. I'm like, guess I'm not jogging anymore. <laughs> I want to lose weight, but I'm not going to wrestle a mountain lion to do it. It's a great news story because they had a, a picture of the mountain lion behind the guy, but it wasn't a photograph. It was a police artist sketch of a mountain lion. <laughs> so like if you saw a different mountain lion out on the trail, you're not supposed to be afraid. <laughs> like, oh, that's not the one in the picture. He was much fluffier and had whiskers on his chin chin. I think he was Hispanic. Cinco de meow. You guys have been a lot of fun. I'm Lee Levine. Thank you very much. Yeah.